Hey guys, um, we're back again today, but this time I have a project for my husband. So as you probably know, we own a church down the street and the church came with dozens of these beautiful old wood, hardwood pews and they are gorgeous, perfection, but they're old. The stain is really dark. It just doesn't show the beauty and the heart of the wood. Does that make sense? So I am going to get my husband. He's been working on some. We actually have a finished pew in our kitchen that looks amazing. And then he's working on this one. And then I think he's going to work on two at the same time. So he's actually carrying one up right now. But he's going to clean it, strip it, sand it, refinish it. And I thought that would be a fun little project um, to show you guys some of the stuff we're working on around here. Um, so I'm gonna have him work on that and hopefully he'll be good and film it. <laughs> um, and you can see the process and also the final result because I think um, because we have so many, some of them um, are a little questionable but we'll be able to sell a lot of them. So if it's something you're interested in, maybe you could purchase a uh, one-of-a-kind finished pew from uh, Case and Slaughter. So let's see what he will do for us. Let's go. Oh, look at that beautiful pew. These pews were cut at an angle to fit in the chapel, and I've decided I was gonna square them off shorten them down to a size that would fit like a normal dining room table maybe or someone's foyer and that's what I decided to start with with this one so the first thing I did was uh, clean it and strip all the paint off and I used this spray citrus strip paint oh, stripper. Oh man I wish you cleaned our house as well as you cleaned this pew. Uh babe it's paint stripper. <laughs> I bet that was satisfying though. It was very satisfying. So this, you just spray it on and you come back later and you basically scrape it, wipe it, smear it all off. I decided I was gonna try to use a pressure washer for this just cause there's all these little, uh, up underneath the, the arms and along the details. Um, still haven't decided if I like it. It was a decent enough idea to try. You Luckily, know what it though? it didn't ruin. <laughs> would at least. <laughs> I love watching people pressure wash. I don't know why that's so satisfying. Oh, I, that's, I know. I love pressure washing. It was very satisfying. Is it getting oranger? Yeah, for some reason this was the color of the, the wood ended up being way more, it's a, it's a kind of an old growth pine that these were built in, it, it felt like in the 20s maybe. Oh, that's so pretty. So. Oh, I love an old piece. After cleaning and stripping, then I had to use, uh, I got my, the secret that I figured out was I used a magic eraser soaked with, I used mineral spirits just cause after, uh, after you spray paint stripper, it kind of gums up everything and kind of eats it away, but you have to wipe it off really well. And if you use a sander, it sticks to the sand, sandpaper and you, Kind of, it makes it worthless after so like a magic one eraser pass. is where it's. But at a the magic world. eraser with mostly mineral spirits. Man, um, I love magic erasers. Yeah, that yeah. took all the leftover, at least most of the paint and stripper and all the gunk that was just gummed up. Because when you, like I said, you put paint stripper on it and it just kind of turns everything into goo, and you have to be able to wipe it all off really well. But again, I didn't want it completely oh. wiped off. So yeah, this was always. That's one of my favorite parts. That pour. That was good. <laughs> that was a good pour, babe. Yeah, I don't know this why. Was this was one is of the so clearest satisfying. you could see the stuff where I had tried to sand it, but once I got the magic eraser and the mineral spirits, it just kind of it finally just just wipes right off. Oh, that's satisfying. <laughs> and look at you protecting your hands. I don't know if you've ever use that much paint stripper. All right, so sanding. After all that's cleaned, it's just sanding and sanding and sanding and, and sanding. More sanding and sanding. And so you start with like a heavier, you know, a heavy grit and you take off of what like the What'd top layers. What you start layers. with like 60? Yeah, oh, 60 to start just to get the paint off, then down to 80, then 100 and then 
This is probably close, like 220, 220 grit sandpaper, which is real fine. We'll give it like a nice soft finish after it's all done. But using the, um, like a 220 or a, anything over 100, I didn't want to eat away the, the all of the wood. Like I still wanted the, the character of, you know, the scratches and the marks and the paint that did get into like na old nail holes and stuff. I wanted to leave oh, yeah. some That of it. character is nice. Not all. I have not seen pine wood look that good. I mean, that's a good looking pine. Well, yeah, the, that's because it's old growth pine or knotty pine. It's not hard pine, um, which is what a lot of the old hardwood floors were made out of. But, yeah, pine today, it grows really fast, and they harvest it really young, so we can have a lot of wood quickly for lumber. But it is not the same kind of pine. It's not right these days. There's a difference, major difference, between old growth pine and the new stuff we use for lumber today. Are you using one of my paintbrushes? I am. I probably ruined it. <laughs> Uh, this is also, this is also, this is probably my favorite part. I didn't use any stain, so this was kind of like, I, and I was surprised at how orange this pine was. Um, but this is a polyurethane finish that I put on it. I did a few coats, but, uh, but again, it's more just, it's the tediousness of a light coat and a light sanding and a light coat, and then you sand it, and I probably did about two or three coats on this one. I just picture my paintbrush right now going, help me Lauren, I'm dying. Listen, it's <laughs> not, I, I probably treat your paintbrushes, I paint with them nicer than you paint with them. It's just that I don't clean them. <laughs> that is, I can't tell which one's hotter, you or that, uh, that pew. <laughs> that is good looking pew. We have one in our kitchen. We need to put the, like a picture of the one in our kitchen. Like finished. Well, the one we have in our kitchen, there's, I was really surprised with how easily I did it. I did nothing but sanded it. I didn't use any paint stripper. I didn't even finish it or with a clear coat of any kind. I kind of like just, it because it's like a matte finish. Is this a matte poly or did you use it? This is sort again? of, uh, this actually, I think it says it's a matte finish. No, sorry, it's a satin finish. 